Hey everybody, it's Rick with Stumped, and I'm here today playing more Civilization V Asher Bonapol Edition. And last episode, we went to war with Augustus Caesar. This episode, uh, I'm going to try to declare peace with Augustus Caesar as soon as I can. And I'm also going to send some uh, ships to go do a little trading because... We're having a little issue with gold, but I think that that has just been remedied. We are at a net zero, which is fine by me. Sure, we could be making more money if we tried, but a net zero is better than a negative, and we have eight happiness, so all in all, the city's doing pretty good, and we could probably bring up our gold if we just go ahead and build some banks. And it looks like we're friendly with Hiawatha. Hiawatha apparently was going to go to war with us. Uh, at least that's the information that we got last episode, but he appears to be pretty friendly with us now and he wants us to go to war with shaka i'm not gonna do that because uh wait what just happened here singapore declared war on me oh great whatever can i actually declare peace right now two more turns in order to declare peace okay we'll try again in two more turns in the meantime let's go ahead and see what we can do over here in ninve complete a market and i'm sure i'm saying ninve wrong maybe it's nine ve Nineve, I don't know. Um, I'm probably saying a lot of things wrong, guys. Because I'm an American, and us Americans are notorious for pronouncing things wrong. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to carry that American tradition of just saying things the wrong way. People who like shining things the most, I'm in first, so... And now we've got 39 gold, so we're actually, we went from having a real issue with gold at the first turn of this uh, playthrough, and then actually doing pretty well now. And it looks like Augustus is trying to attack Almady, who is uh, aligned with me, and they're not doing too good a job of it at the moment. There we go, and there I just got a huge boost, because I got gold from all of my science buildings. And so if I was concerned about gold before, those concerns are put to bed now. All right, this guy, this cannon, he needs a home. Where's this cannon going to go? I think everybody else has something stationed in their cities, don't they? I think they do, so... You know what? You just stay put there. That's fine. That's a fine place for you. And we'll just keep on moving. I want to get biology because I'm really curious to see where all of this oil is. I have a feeling... I mean, I've got this entire city... Or this entire continent to myself. Whoa! Look at all of this stuff he wants to give me to declare a war. Or declare peace, rather. Declare war. I'm at war with him. Augustus wants to give me a lot of things to declare peace, and I'm willing to take him up on that. He wants to give me spices and wine? Yeah, dude, you got it. I was going to go to him with that peace treaty, but he came to me first, so... That's always welcomed. Okay, I've got a bunch of, uh, a bunch of barbarian jerks trying to front me right now. Just gonna ignore them and build a public school. How about that? You guys can't get me down. Yeah, oh, was it defeated at the hands of us? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Augustus Caesar. Maybe that'll teach you to forward settle on my lands. Huh? Maybe? Okay, let's keep building banks because we are... Now we are doing pretty well. Oh, and Hiawatha, he wants to do the World's Fair. I, I'm, like, all about that, dude. Let's do the World's Fair because... I have a feeling that we can totally build the World's Fair and come in first. And you want to give me uh, an embassy and five gold for a silver? Yeah, let's do it, dude. I'll take your money and your embassy. I've only got three of my six trade routes, too, and I'm doing very well. Very, very well as far as money goes. Uh, surprisingly well, to tell you the truth. So let's keep this crazy train of moving, and hopefully we can keep doing well. Okay, so did if the brain it pass? So did uh, I imagine that the World Fair pass? Right, it totally did. Let's. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Everybody is gonna invest into the World's Fair, right? Because we want to win the World's Fair. It's very important that we win the World's Fair. Why is it important? Because the World's Fair. Let me show you. Um. Where, 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 where's the chart? Where's the chart that... There we go. World's Fair. If we get third place, which only means that we have to invest 117.25 production into it, is going to give us 500 points towards our next Golden Age. However, if we get second place and invest at least 234.5 production into the World's Fair, we will get a free social policy. 
Lastly, if we get first place, which means we invest the most production into the World's Fair, we get a 100% increase in our culture for 20 turns, which is, as Donald Trump would say, huge. So we need to do this. We need to get the World's Fair. And so we're going to get the World's Fair. I've got all of my cities are going to start focusing in on building this. And of course, this means that we won't be able to build anything else, but I'm willing to take that risk. I don't care. And I'm going to change production here to the World's Fair and change production. There we go. New York. Choose production, World's Fair and production. There we go. Philadelphia. We're going to annex you. Oh, and everybody's unhappy until I buy a courthouse. And then everybody's okay again. Great. World's Fair. Production. There you go. Paris is still... Uh, you know, it, it, I'm going to annex it, and uh, I'm unhappy for doing it. I probably don't have enough money to buy a courthouse, do I? I do! Ha <laughs> ha! No, I don't. I lied. But I can build it. I can build it in four turns, so I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to change production. Um, Lions, you're going to go production, and you are going to focus in on World's Fair as well. And let's see. Inve, World's Fair, production. Finally... Nimrod, World's Fair, Production, and Last City, Production, World's Fair. And then we just kick back. We kick back for like four turns. Let's th let this thing happen to us. Go ahead and research electronics. Put our hands be t behind our head and then we just watch it happen. We just wait. You want to be friends with me, Shaka? All right, man. We'll be friends. I have a feeling that somebody's not going to like that. I'm friendly with three of the four people <laughs> in this world right now, which is kind of crazy to me. Uh, because when I started this game, I was like, I'm not going to be friends with anybody. I don't care about friends, but they want to be friends with me. I'm not coming to them trying to be friends. They want to be my friend. I'm not going to stop them. That's fine. All right. Let's all be friends. One big happy world. I recommend you not get too close with the Zulu. I don't care what you say. You are literally the only person who is not friends with me at this point. So I don't care what you have to say. Your word is invalid. And man, the second place Hiawatha didn't even come close to us in that World's Fair. And there you have it, guys. We have got plus 100% to our culture for the next 20 turns. And I'm going to go ahead and start investing back into science and go ahead and finish building that school. Everybody else is going to also invest into science and start building other science-worthy things. Wow, I need to build things in Lion. How is it the Lion has not had a granary built? That seems like a huge oversight. Not quite sure how something like that happens. Ooh, and I get to adopt a policy. Let's go ahead and boost, uh, let's see. Great scientist, earn 25% faster. Let's go ahead and do it. There we go. Let's do that and... Now, public school in Paris. Oh, yeah. And I also need to send you to science output. Same thing here in easier to say science output. And what are you going to produce? Aqueduct. Fantastic. Philadelphia. Go ahead and create a university. I can't believe that you don't have one yet. That's, uh, unfortunate. New York. What are you going to get? Public school. Naturally. In the bed curtains. Truly, when feelings converge, one is apt to forget what happens to a brocade girdle. I don't know what a brocade girdle is. I know what a girdle is, but I don't know what a brocade girdle is. But that sounds poignant. And so I am inclined to believe that it's very fancy. So, well done, making a very fancy poem, Chinese writer. Great job. I'm going to pretend like I know what you meant because I don't want to feel inferior, but I really don't know what you meant. Brocade girdle. I imagine a brocade girdle could it be more different than like a regular girdle, could it? Possibly? I don't know. Workshop. That's what we're going to build Nimrod right now. And I'm kind of curious to know how we're doing scientifically. Okay, World Congress expands infrastructure. Does it now. Now we can elect a world leader. Very interesting. But I don't think anybody's got the points to actually become the world leader. 
Uh, no, not even close. Hiawatha, he's probably going to become the new host, though, because he's got 15 votes, which is crazy. Augustus Caesar thought he was doing pretty well, but here comes Hiawatha to prove him wrong. Ooh, another ideology has been adopted. I want an ideology, it damn it. When do I get an ideology? I'm going to get plus one science from every trading post and plus 17% science from universities. How much is that going to give us? Whoa, a huge boost in science. Yeah, baby. Okay. Um, speaking of science, here comes our public uh, school within Philadelphia. And everybody else is building public schools as well. The most wonderful people is Hiawatha. But I'm in second. I am right behind him. Thanks in part, in large part, to the fact that I took over uh, Washington and France, and they gave me all of their wonders, which was very nice of them to do, in light of the fact that I destroyed them. Why have I not killed this right here? This citadel that I built up here could probably be reworked, and Bismarck comes along and says, Hiawatha is plotting on us again. He told us that before, but Hiawatha, he's friends with us, right? So, like, why would he possibly declare war on us? I'm going to keep my eyes on him just in case, because I said the same thing about the Greek, or rather the Roman, not the Greek. I always get those two cultures confused, and I shouldn't, because they couldn't be more different, right? <laughs> right? No, of course not. I've got a new unit from Almady. Almady just keeps hooking it up, and I'm kind of curious to see where we stand in science right now. Let's look at the demographic. Oh my goodness, we're in number two. Oh, what? Number two? And uh, strangely enough, the average is 60, but I'm at 59. But that's only five points behind the first place uh, uh, Civ, which is uh, Hiawatha. I feel like we can overtake him. So, second place out of five, not too shabby. We're going to catch up, guys. We're going to catch up and... We're going to be so smart. We're going to have all the science. So much science. It's going to... So much science, you're going to get sick of how much science you have. You're going to be like, stop with all the science. But I'm going to be like, no, we must have more science. So you can just get used to it. Get used to all the science that we will have. And let that be a lesson to you, Hiawatha. Shaka's become a nuisance. No, man. Shaka's my friend. Now, most people in this world are my friends, but Shaka in particular. Okay, I'm now into the modern era, and I get a new spy. So where is this spy going to go? This spy is going to go to... Let's see. Samarkand. I want to put spies in all of the city-states within my continent. And what are we going to do over here in New York? We're going to do a zoo, because we're almost unhappy, but not quite. And, ooh, we got uh, science funding and world ideology freedom. So science funding is pretty good. And since we want to get science, that would probably be in our best interest. I will go ahead and invest my five delegates into that. Sure. Let's vote for that. I don't agree with Augustus on much, but in this case, I agree with you, Augustus. Let us research science and see how that shakes out. Ooh, we got another great merchant! Where are we going to send this great merchant? I think we're going to send it to Samarkand because we're already allied with Almaty and the Vatican City. So let's go ahead and start sending it towards Samarkand. Ooh, and I get to choose an ideology! Finally! Yes, the ideology. And we are going to go with the order ideology because uh, forget all of these other ones. Order is the best. Are you kidding me? So a couple people want freedom and I don't care what they want. I'm going with my gut and I'm going with order because order is the best. And we're going to go plus two happiness for monuments. And every city should have a monument. So this should be a huge boon to my happiness. Let's see how big it is. Holy crap, 20 happiness. Are you kidding me? We are very happy now. And I'm still not going to give you open borders. But I will give you... Um, give me five. Will you give me five? You won't? Will you give me four? No. No? Will you give me three? Will you give me two? All right, fine. I'll take your one. Fine. I had to try. I had to try to haggle with him. Hold out for a little bit more money. I know I was asking a lot, but, you know, it seemed like he was going to give it. Wait, how did I go from 20 to negative 2? It's because that stupid... Wait, did world, did freedom become the world ideology? Oh, god damn it! I accepted his open borders. That's something I never do. It did, didn't it? Freedom became the, uh... It did. Oh, those sons of bitches. Let's go ahead and check it out. 
They want freedom, don't they? You're not going to get freedom. Give it up. Freedom will be overruled. You will see. Whoa, Bismarck denounced me? Why? Why did you denounce me, Bismarck? Let's find out. You've made a declaration of friendship with one of their enemies. You have chosen the order ideology, but they have chosen freedom. That's it? Okay. It doesn't take a lot for a man to denounce a once friend, but uh, that just goes to show you how valuable friendship is to these guys, which is to say not very valuable at all. So, you know what? Nuts to those guys, fair weather friends and whatnot. I can go ahead and finish off the rationalism tree, or I could go ahead and get collective rule and finish off the liberty tree. Which one am I going to do? Well, you know, I can do both, really, because I have four turns left to get 100% uh, of my culture. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the science first, and then hopefully I'm going to get enough culture from uh, winning the World's Fair in order to get the other one. Now, I'm going to get a free tech as well. I'm going to go ahead and go for radio. Radio sounds like a good tech to go for. And this worker needs orders. What are you going to do? You're going to go over here. Build a mine. That's what you're going to do, little worker man. Losing grasp on Singapore. I never knew I had grasp on Singapore, to tell you the truth. That just goes to show you. Going to build a zoo. Wow, I am getting super unhappy now. Fuck off, fiddle. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. That'll help my happiness out a little bit. I'm going to conduct this trade mission. And that makes me friends with uh, Samacrand. And now I need to produce in Boston. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to purchase something. Purchase something that's going to make me happy. Happy, happy. And then I'm going to get a zoo from New York in two turns. And that's going to make me even more happy. So let's just keep being happy, everybody. Happiness is where it is at. Also, I need to get oil. All right. There's oil right here. I need to build a city right here, which is going to get me oil. Which is going to cost me happiness. But I need to get that oil. And there's also oil right here. And can I actually... Ooh, oh, ooh. Annex Orleans, and then I can buy a tile. There we go. Buy the oil tile. Also, I can purchase a courthouse. There we go. Now I've got access to seven oil. Vundaba. All right. Now, a sewer needs some uh, something to do, and let's go ahead and uh, maybe how about a musicians guild, I guess. What do you want? You want silver? Um, ooh, what do I need? Let's find out. What do I not have? Okay. Do I not have incense or spice? I don't have either of those. Let's go ahead and do a trade. Augustus, even though you're not technically my friend, I feel like we could work something out here. Propose? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. All right. Who else has something that I need? Um, how about... Shaka, what Bye do you got, man? You don't got nothing. Get out of here with that. What, what, what about you, Hiawatha? You got whales. Oh. You want some of my jams? You do! Goodbye! Yay, there we go. Now we have a net happiness. I love it when that happens. We're just all able to trade and be best friends and whatnot. Now, my people still want freedom, and I'm really hoping that that will pass. Their desire for this crazy freedom ideology, which is just frankly just crazy. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that nonsense. Hopefully that'll pass. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, let's keep these trades going, man. Okay, finally! Finally! I have electronics! And I've got some oil, but I need to... Work that oil first, and then I can start to produce those, uh... Those battleships. All right. Those battleships. Those crazy, crazy battleships. Choose production. We're gonna go with a public school. And over here, what do we need? We're gonna go with, uh... Yeah, lighthouse to increase our food production. All right, 
We can go ahead and do Atomic Theory now. We'll get, we're going to move into the Atomic Era. And that should really give us a leg up, so to speak. We've got a great artist, too. All right, this great, this great artist. I'm going to go ahead and use it for the Golden Age. I've been just popping all of these units because I want instant gratification. And some people might say that that is short-sighted, but I don't care what they say. I'm going to do it anyway. So deal with that, would you? Once I research plastics, I can build research labs, which will increase our science production even farther. Okay, time to assign delegates, and crazy enough, Hiawatha wants to ban sugar, which is another luxury that I've been depending on, and I'm going to put my votes against it, but he's got 21, which means that it's probably going to pass anyway, which is going to give me another hit to my happiness, and that's really how they've been sticking it to me throughout this game. They've been taking away all of my luxuries, but here I am, Man, resilient, I one word and like I said, one word. It passed, just like I said it would, but I, I put in my protest vote, and I was like, no, we are not going to vote for this, and uh, it passed anyway, and so uh, that just goes to show you the power of a protest vote, everybody, you know? I mean, unless you're the EU, and then you vote, you know, Enough to leave the days. EU, and then that protest vote, sometimes it blows up in your face and whatnot. Uh, no offense to those people who are super political and live in the UK and voted for that sort of thing and you know that was your right to do and fantastic but in all honesty uh, surprise to the world protest votes sometimes they work not in this case though because they took my sugar those sons of guns they took my sugar didn't they they sure did okay anyway moving along uh, what are we gonna build now uh, shrine maybe no let's go ahead and build a Colosseum maybe sure Ooh, we got a great scientist born. Tycho Bra has been born, and what is he going to... Oh, he's going to give us atomic theory, is he? Look at that. Now we've discovered a lot of uranium, which is going to get us the bomb, and it's going to make a lot of people afraid of us. Ooh, you better fear us, because we got the bomb now. And having the bomb, we're going to go ahead and move into rocketry. And we're going to get radar, and we're going to get planes, and we're going to get bombers. We're going to get all sorts of stuff. And we've also got a new spy. Where's the spy going to go? Mm-hmm. This spy is going to go in La Venta, the last city... Uh, city-state within our continent and I'm gonna take a look at our demographics now and look at this we're number two in science 67% versus 69% from Hiawatha so we are getting very close to them and I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up for this episode guys uh, we have managed to close the gap pretty well and also to found an ideology we joined the order ideology and despite the fact that everybody wants us to go freedom. And we could easily go freedom, honestly. We could if I wasn't so stubborn. And I'm not saying that there's not a chance that we might go freedom later. But as of right now, just out of sheer stubbornness, we're sticking with ideology. And we're still happy for it. And we're making a net profit in gold. So I'd say, all in all, we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. We're building a courthouse in Washington. So we're going to be OK there in just a moment. So we're also building battleships in a few of our cities at the moment. I bought one down here in Boston. We're building battleships in Nineveh and Asur. I'm going to get battleships going in as many places as I can, and I'm going to build up a navy, and we're going to send it across the ocean, and then we're going to start to invade Rome, Alundi, all of these places that we need. The world will be ours, and that's all going to be next episode, guys. Anyhow, as far as this episode goes, I hope you guys are enjoying it, and if you are, be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys. I've been Rick of Stumped, and I will see you guys tomorrow.